And as they were leaving this world, they, they, they left this world with a certain state of certainty about the existence of the Creator, confident in the existence of the Creator, confident that they were going to meet their Creator. Like for instance, the story I told in Jumar earlier today, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq when he was in his death illness, when someone came to him and asked a question, he said, well, um, do you, would, you, would you like to send for a doctor? Or sh you should send for a doctor. Lo ar lo ila yeah. You should send for a doctor. And then Abu Bakr responded, Qadra'ani, he's already seen me. He's already seen me. And then the questioner says to him, فَمَا قَالَ لَكَ And what did he say to you? And he said, إِنِّي فَعَالُ لِمَا أُرِيدِ He said to me, I do as I please. That's what he told me. So just that state that those people were in. I had a friend of mine who passed away, I guess, maybe about 10 years um, ago now. And, you know, he had discovered he had cancer in his kidney and it spread to other organs of his body. Found out a bit too late. Uh, he was very young, in his early 30s. <clears throat> and... Um, I remember having um, a conversation with him and, um, and he had told me about a conversation he had with his doctor and his doctor had said to him, uh, well, you have two choices, either you could start chemotherapy, it'll prolong your life but it won't be pleasant, right? but you're not really going to live, you know, it'll prolong your life a little bit, or you can just go home and spend, you know, uh, the rest of your days with your family and you feel somewhat relaxed and don't have to worry about any sort of sickness or, or pain and things like that. And so right away he said, I, I told him, well, I'm, I'm going home to my family. And he said the doctor was just shocked. He looked at him like, just that easy. You're just going to forget, no hope, you just gave up. You, and, so, and so he said to me, his brother, his name was Isa, Abdul Hamid, and he said to me, he said, he said Abdullah, he said, they don't understand, Muslim. I mean, this is like his, his state. And I was just like, so like, subhanAllah, I was like, man, you know, it's like, he's about to die. He's about to die, and he's like, that's certain. He's like, you know, it's, like, it's subhanAllah. Right, and, I, and for me, I think that those, that something happens, I just believe something happens with people when they're getting close, when they're closer to Allah. I mean, there's something they feel or they see, there's something happening with them, you see. And that, for me, I think that those are signs, although, of course, they're not empirical in the sense that I can't, you know, show them to a scientist, you know, here's the proof, you know, but that's what faith is all about. Faith is about vulnerability to an extent. And uh, it's not about feeling certain all the time. Faith is about feeling vulnerable that, you know, that you don't know. You don't know what Allah, uh, He means for you. You don't know. But you trust He means something good. You just hope nothing, no harm or hurt comes to you, but, but it's like, I trust that whatever happens, you know, is, is for the better. Even if it hurts, it's for the better, you see. And um, so that's, that's, uh, those are some things, you know, that I think were good to reflect upon.